Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 13, and this is war number 5. And we're going up against an alliance called Agent White. Now if you saw my last Alliance War video, you know that we performed horribly. Alright, we lost that war, and we are out for blood this time. We need to redeem ourselves. Uh, we've got uh, 30 people once again. Uh, we had someone leave in the middle of the Alliance War, Alliance Quest, uh, and that really disrupted a lot of our plans. So, first up, we're going to be fighting Hela. Path 1, as I always take in Section 1, it is Starburst. And I always look now uh, at the defense tactics to make sure uh, I know what I'm going to be dealing with. And I always use Gladiator Hulk. You see, he has that Face Me active because Starburst activates his Face Me. So he will heal most of the damage he takes. You saw that I got hit there, but look at his health. This is why Gladiator Hulk is probably the best choice for this path. So far, I have not met anyone on this path that would cause me to say, well, I don't want to use Gladiator Hulk for this. Now, that's not to say they don't exist, but why would you put such a strong defender in Section 1 on a Starburst path when you have more difficult paths that you may want to place your really tough defenders? So, uh, I don't know who I would even put here that would give Gladiator Hulk uh, some problems. As long as you know how to fight the uh, defender, then you shouldn't have a problem. He is going to be the safest option for you on this path. All right, so next up, we're fighting Phoenix. Now, Phoenix can trip you up uh, if you're not careful, especially when she gets that right of the Phoenix. She seems to get very aggressive when that procs. So if you're hitting her, if you're in the middle of a special or something like that, she's going to be attacking you and you're going to get hit because she'll attack you before you can recover. All right, so there we have Rite of the Phoenix and you'll notice she did not heal that much. That's because I was able to bait out a special one just before I pushed her to that Rite of the Phoenix. That special one drained her a little bit uh, you'll just need to look at her abilities to find out why you want to do that. Uh, bait her special one before Rite of the Phoenix. All right, so that is it for section one. As I've said in other videos, I don't take that many. I don't even bring someone for that uh, mini boss right there. Uh, I don't know if you call them mini bosses. You know, they're not the mini bosses linked to the boss but they are little mini bosses. I don't know what you would call them. Now, in section two, I take path two, and when I scouted out my path and I saw Man-Thing, I was a little nervous, only because I've not faced Man-Thing in war before. And in war, that's when a whole lot of shenanigans like to happen. Now, I fought Man-Thing on Uncollected, but honestly, I just brute forced my way through. You know, I didn't worry about his abilities. Uh, I just fought him and I didn't care if I went in and he killed me the first time because I would just go in with another champion. And, you know, I didn't really care about the deaths, but now I do care about the deaths. So I did a little research and I'm like, OK, uh, he is immune to bleed. So I didn't want to bring my uh, blade so I decided to go in with Gladiator Hulk. Normally, I only use Gladiator Hulk for Section 1, really. But because Gladiator Hulk is poison immune, I had a very good advantage. You really want to bring a poison immune against Man-Thing. Now, you saw right there, I hit him a little too soon. When he fires a heavy off, he goes unstoppable. Okay, there's a node that gives that ability to everybody. Um, but he has it naturally, uh, just like Kingpin. And I wasn't used to it. Like I said, I am not used to fighting him. So I learned that on the fly right there. I was like, okay, cannot 
go right back in, aka punish his uh, heavy attack. All right, his special two, very easy to evade. His special one gives me problems sometimes. I don't know what it is with the timing. It's almost like a, a fastball or a slow ball rather uh, pitch. It is very weird. See like right here, I got it. But at that distance, that seemed to be okay. But I think I get hit with it uh, when I'm a little further back. All right, see you like right there. And I'm like, how, what is going on? You know, I don't get it. I just need more practice. You know, there's, there's several uh, champions that have different timings, uh, like OG Hulk. If you're close to him, and he fires a special one, you can evade once and, av and avoid it. But if you're a certain distance away from him outside of this certain attack range, you're gonna have to evade more than once. Well, with Man-Thing, it seems like if you're a little closer, the timing is one thing, but then if you're a little further away, it's a little different timing. And I know several uh, others that have like little different timings that way. Um, all right, so here we have one of them, and that is Yellow Jacket. Now, Yellow Jacket, for his special one, you want to evade that from a distance because it's easier. You can evade his special one. I've done it by accident. Uh, you can evade that special one when you're close. All right, you see here, I, I evaded back very quickly. That's easy to do, but if you're too close to him, the timing is different than it is if he's, you know, a little further away. So it just takes some practice. Uh, I think I want to be close to Man-Thing when he fires his special one. It seems to be a little bit easier. Uh, Ant-Man is another one that I have trouble with uh, on his special two. If I'm further away, I actually have an easier time uh, evading his special two than when I'm up close. All right, so... We got him down. They got the little mini boss down. And now I am going to take on this Quake. Now, if you remember, I had some problems with Quake. It's a really good placement for Quake here, but I was looking for some payback. I did not do well against Quake uh, previously. And again, this is a war that we are trying to win. We lost the last one. We didn't even get our boss down. We didn't even get a full clear. We are looking to redeem ourselves, okay? So you see here, I'm boosting up. I'm taking this fight seriously. Uh, I don't boost anywhere else. You know, so I tend to stockpile these boosts. Uh, I don't use them in Alliance Quest. Uh, don't have any need. So now I'm gonna face this Quake with Starkey. Now, what makes Starkey a good option is because this node, first of all, she's immune to debuff effects, okay? Uh, so you have to fight her stun immune style. Uh, you also have a power lock on your uh, special one. You can only do a special one attack. But, fortunately, my Spider-Man Stark enhanced, he doesn't need his specials, okay? So he's gonna hit really hard anyway. So you see here, I built up my poise charges and that's it, I can just go to town, all right? Just look at this. That is how it should have been when I faced her before. If I remember correctly, I did not take in my Starkey uh, the last time like I should have. Okay, so this time we weren't playing with her, went in with my Starkey, he's one of my favorites. All right, so now, we're in the end game and I had to go out and take care of uh, the car, I needed to put some uh, brake pads on. And I didn't really have the best options for some of these. Uh, the Sabertooth, I could have gone in with my Gladiator Hulk, uh, but someone else was able to take him. And one of my teammates went in on this domino and died and so asked me to clean up this domino. And so you saw, I said, okay, domino is 
a pain. Anybody that's fought her knows that. She has a um, power gain on this node, and my Starkey is a good counter for her. Now you see she's almost dead, less than half her health. All right, but I was still not taking any chances, which is why I healed up, which is why I boosted up, because it would have been very embarrassing to get taken down. Now, when I'm doing this fight, I don't know if you're noticing the little stutters, but I was not home. I was not on my Wi-Fi. I was actually using my sister's hotspot because my phone had a dead spot over where uh, we were at at the mechanics, okay? But as you can see, we won this war. So we did redeem ourselves from the last war. Hopefully we're gonna continue uh, winning wars and we are aiming, I believe, for Platinum 3, if we can get it. We got Platinum 4 last time. That's what we were aiming for last season. This season, we're hoping to get into Platinum 3. Uh, we used to be a Platinum 1 Alliance, but we are now Alliance Quest focused. So we're not going very hard in Alliance War, but we still want to get you know the decent rewards. We definitely want to be at least in Platinum. So if we don't make it to platinum three and we're still in platinum four that's okay but if we can get platinum three great anyway that's going to do it guys hopefully you enjoyed the video click like subscribe leave a comment let me know what you thought about the video and you all have a blessed day <laughs>